What's up CrossFit Nittany family? Happy Monday and welcome back to another week of homework. So today we are going to start out with a warm up, right? So most of the things are really going to be self-explanatory today. I'm just going to run through this for you, all right? So you're going to do three rounds steady of 10 air squats. So make sure when you, when you squat down your hip crease is parallel to or below your knees or you just get low enough where you're still keeping your back straight. So if you're not quite there yet, that's okay, right? And then we're gonna do a 30 second handstand hold against the wall, 10 hollow rocks, followed by 10 scat push-ups. Make sure that you're not bending the elbows, you're just squeezing those shoulder blades back together and back out again. After that, we're gonna do a Bergener warm-up. I have a video for you in Sugar Wad to explain that, right? And then after that, today, we're gonna to be doing a little bit of Olympic work, right? We're going to really focus on positions, making sure we're doing things right, no weight. So just really focus on form so that we don't forget how to do this stuff whenever we get back to weight. You could either grab a broom or a PVC if you have it. Right? So in that, we're going to do five sets of three snatch balances followed by three snatch presses, or they're also called a rear SOTS press. Right? So what that's going to look like, first of all, with the snatch balance, I've got my my PVC or your broomstick on your shoulders, right? And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dip down a little bit, drive up so that the bar comes up, right? And then I drop down below it, right into a squat, right? And so we're gonna go three of those, and then three of those rear, sna rear snatch presses, right? And so what that means, I'll try to get down where you can see me a little bit here, right? I'm gonna start from being down in my snatch, right? And really push that up and try to keep everything nice and tight, right? And then stand up on that last one, right? After that, right, it's five sets of those. We're going to do five sets of two snatch high pulls and two snatch no jumps. So those snatch high pulls, right? I'm going to start from down like mid shin as though if I had plates on it was touching. I'm going to come up into a high pull, right? So I'm going to pull up. Whoa! <laughs> In this case, drop it because I've got rings in my bedroom, right? Nice and high, right? And then after that, we're going to do the, the snatch no jump, right? Which basically means I'm going to keep my feet flat on the ground, but I'm going to still come down into a snatch. Cool. After that one, we'll move on to five sets of two pausing power cleans, right? We're going to pause at two inches off the ground, or <laughs> we're going to pause just off the ground for two seconds, at the knee for two seconds, and mid thigh for two seconds. So with the with the clean, thumbs should be just about, or hands should be about thumb distance outside of the quads. Feet should be about shoulder distance. I'm gonna keep that back nice and flat, right? I'm gonna come up a little bit, hold it for two seconds, to the knees for two seconds, mid thigh for two seconds, right? And it's a pausing power clean. So then we'll finish it off in that power clean position. Cool? And then after that, we're gonna do five sets of two reps each of a clean pull to hold, a squat clean, no jump, and then a push jerk and a split jerk, right? And so what that's gonna look like is, I'm gonna start down here, I'm gonna come up to a clean pull, right? And then I'm gonna go back down and do a squat clean, no jump, right? And then I'm gonna come up and go push jerk, right? So I'm gonna come down, and do that push jerk, and then come back down and go split jerk, right? So we're just gonna really focus on doing this stuff, getting those positions good. Later we can get some weight, we'll get back at it with the Olympic, but we're not gonna forget anything and we can really get that technique down now, right? So after that, we've got some conditioning today, All right? Ah, let me get rid of this PVC. <laughs> All right, so. With the conditioning, you're gonna have a 30 minute running clock. And really the beginning part of this workout is, is gonna be eating up a lot of your time and your score is gonna be the very end of the workout of how many of those dumbbell, goblet, knee, squat, kneeling, step up, knee drives we get in there. Cool? So what's gonna go on here is we have 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 of jumping jacks, jumping jacks and chair dips. All right, so what that's gonna look like is we'll go Jumping jacks, right? You do 50 of those and then grab a chair, right? And just like it sounds, we're gonna come out and do some chair dips, right? 
the further you get your feet out, a little bit harder it'll be. Still try to stay nice and close so that you can really get good tricep extension. After you finish both of those, 50, 50, 40, 40, 30, 30, right? Then you're gonna go immediately into 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 sit-ups, right? And in between each of those, after you complete each of those sections of the, the sit-ups, you're gonna do a one minute plank. All right, so you do 10, one minute plank, 20, one minute plank. And just a reminder with our sit-ups, we're gonna sit in butterfly position, right? We'll make sure these are good sit-ups. My shoulders should break my hip crease at the top. So my hands are gonna touch the ground down here, right? My back should touch the ground at the back. My hands should hit the ground. Come back up, that's one, right? So good sit-ups. So again, after you complete each set, you're gonna do a minute plank, just a regular plank. You can do that, right? Hands up, around your knees, minute. Get that core nice and involved. And then when you finish that section, is the part we get scored on. You're gonna do as many of these dumbbell or kettlebell goblet squat kneeling step up knee drives as you can get in. It's just max, right? And so that's gonna be your score. So I have a kettlebell with me today, right? I also have some dumbbells, but with this one, right? I'm starting from this position, I'm kneeling, right? I'm gonna hold this in the goblet squat position and I'm gonna step up, knee drive. Step back down, alternate sides, knee drive. Cool, that's what it looks like. Get as many of those in as you can get. Have an awesome day. Get your score into Sugar Wad. And thanks for joining in and doing this work with us. Have an awesome day.